Hi everyone, uh, my name is Mantan Patel and I'm from GCS Informatica Support. Today in this session we are going to take about uh, learn about CDGC APIs that we can use to get the list of the assets as well as the details about that about those, those assets that we can see in the data governance and catalog UI. Let's move further to the next slide. Following are the agendas uh, that we are going to take in the today's meeting. First, we'll discuss about the prerequisites that are required to run any IICS APIs in Postman. Going further, we'll check about the list of APIs that we can use uh, to get uh, asset list. So basically, there's a search query that we use in Data Governance and Catalog UI, right? Uh, which which will uh, match with the content and pay, uh, depending on that, we'll get the output in the UI. Uh, we'll use the same search query in the APIs and we'll get the similar results that we as we get in the UI. Going further, we'll check on the asset details API. And in the end, I'll be attaching all the knowledge base articles and the documentation that I've been uh, using in this PowerPoint presentation in the references section. Let's move ahead. First would be the prerequisite to run ICS APIs. Here I have attached a knowledge base article where RD has provided a JSON payload for the APIs, which can be downloaded to the local machine, and then you can import it to your postman, which will bring in all the APIs that are available to use uh, for getting the uh, other different different purposes for the data governance and catalog assets. I'll be showing that in my demo. First would be the asset list API. So basically it's a post call and the endpoints are data 360 search v1 assets. And also I have attached a search query guide in which uh, there is a mention about the complex queries that search queries that you can create to get the desired output. So let's, let's take an example. Let's say you, you want to get the list of all the tables which are present in catalog source type Oracle. So we'll have to for that you'll have to create a specific search query that uh, data guardians and catalog will understand. And for that purpose, you can use this search guide and then uh, you can create a complex queries and those complex queries can be used in the API, in the knowledge query uh, header, and then you can get the desired output. On the right, you can see a screenshot that I have attached from the postman where the highlighted is uh, knowledge query equals to table uh, space source table so what this query will do is it will list all the tables which are named as source underscore table so this kind of query you can come up by referring to the online uh, help that i have attached here the guide i'll be showing that in my demo as well let's move further asset details api so it's a get call and the endpoints are data 360 search v1 asset and will provide the asset id in the headers of the api so you can get the asset id uh, from the ui data governance and catalog that i'll show in the in my demo and we can provide the same uh, asset id in the headers that is highlighted here in the screenshot and then you can get the desired output so if you see this this asset id is representing a view named cars underscore source underscore view and you will get all all the details that you see the data governance and catalog ui like in the overview page you see the business name tag to the table business description technical description custom attributes lineage information relationship all those will be captured by this api let's move further yeah so asset uh, there is uh, addition to the asset details api but this api uh, we can use to get a result for multiple assets at the same time so it would be a post call and the endpoint would be data 360 search v1 asset details and for that only requirement is uh, we need to get the asset id of all the assets for which we need to get the details and in the body of the api you can provide it as a comma separated values the rest everything would remain same as the uh, previous api and then once you run it it will uh, print all the uh, responses in the json format I'll be showing that in my demo as well. Yeah, let's move ahead to demo. Uh, let me open my Postman and uh, run few APIs and we can check. 
yeah so when you come to postman and import that json which i was referring in the prerequisite section this is how it would look like it would you will have all this stuff apis for different purposes uh, one for login one for G, uh, getting the list api business asset api technical asset relationship all sorts of every uh, apis are listed here and then uh, if you can feel free to use that based on your use case so first i'll be uh, discussing on the log login api which would be needed uh, to run and uh, run any uh, further api so this is the first api which a user will have to run so in this api in the body you'll have to provide the username and password of your uh, cloud or which which you usually log in and when you click on send it you will get a response uh, from which uh, you will have to copy this ic session id so this will be a temporary session id like uh, generated for a specific period of time so this we need to copy and further we need to run another api to get the bearer token which would be used to run all the apis going further so we'll, we'll copy this session id and we'll go to this gwt api and in the headers we'll provide that copied uh, user uh, session id to here in the user session as well as ids session id it would be same so you can provide that copied uh, output from the previous api here and then just you can click on send which will generate a jwt bearer token so this would be also uh, available i mean it would be active for a limited time this would be similar to your let's say when you log into any uh, cloud after some time you will be logged out right so similarly this bearer token will be only valid for a certain period of time so once you generate you can I mean, copy it and uh, run the required apis and then it would be invalid so you have to copy this bearer token and then let me show you the asset list api so this is the asset list api it was a post post api and my cloud is in us region that's why it's dm us here if it's in canada it would be dm na and similarly it would it would be changing and this uh, in the headers x info org id would be the org organization id of your cloud so this should be replaced with your uh, org id and then this knowledge query this would be the query uh, for which you want to search the catalog so it's basically when you go to create a governance and catalog and when you use the same search query it, the similar output that you get there would be getting here as well using the api so let me show you how it would look like in data governance and catalog ui as well if we run the same uh, knowledge of uh, same search query so So if you go to data, if you use the same query to search in data governance and catalog, we'll be getting six results. And similarly, if you go to the uh, postman and if you run the same uh, search query, we'll be getting the same six results using the API. So this is how asset list API works. So you can uh, go to data governance and catalog, uh, work on building your search query, and then you can use that search query to uh, to be placed in this knowledge query on the postman and then you can get the same output and then uh, yeah you can use the use it for your uh, purpose yeah now let's move on to the next api that would be asset details api for a single asset so for that uh, we'll use this asset details queries and that uh, we'll use this asset id api it's a get call and similarly uh, as mentioned earlier the my uh, cloud is in us region so it's dmus and here uh, this would be the asset id of your uh, asset that you want the details so this can be obtained from the data governance and catalog ui so if you go to data governance and catalog and search for any asset so this is let's say an example car source view that's a view and you can get the asset id from the uh, url so if you see here in the url uh, this would be the asset id that you need to copy so you can copy this and we can again go to the postman and uh, use this uh, in our headers and then run the query so i've copied the same here and when you uh, provide the org id and one other thing, thing is in the authorization you will have to provide the token that uh, we generated in the generate uh, access token api so you can copy that output and you have to provide it in this uh, token and then after providing the asset id and org id when you run it you'll get the entire details about 
that specific asset. Yeah, now going further, uh, let me show you the same asset details API for multiple assets. So here is the different folder for that multiple asset details queries. And if you go here, it's a post call and in the headers, you don't have to pass anything, but in the body, you have to uh, pass all the asset IDs comma separated for the, for which you want the details. And same way in the headers, it would be org ID that you have to pass and the authorization, you have to pass the token that we generated in the first step uh, in the generate access token API. So once you click on send, it will print all the results of the asset IDs that is mentioned in the body of the API. In the summary, I have added all the knowledge base articles as well as product documentation that I have referred in my PowerPoint presentation. So you can uh, look around for those. Um, please feel free to add your feedback on the support videos at informatica.com or on Twitter. Thank you all. Have a nice day.